Hello Blender fans, I wanted to announce that the sculpting add-on JSculpt is now migrated to Blender 3. You can find it here on my GitHub. The link is added to the description below and of course, it is for free. Let's have a look at a simple example project here in Blender 3 Beta. When the add-on is installed and activated, you find the JSculpt panel on the right side. The latest version, you see this here in the add-ons list, is 1.0.4 feature that already existed but that I've fixed now is adding primitives in sculpt mode by control clicking onto the surface of your sculpting object. You can choose one from these primitives or objects that are available in your scene. Okay, just control click and the sphere is added, here also with an X mirror. Then I go to edit mode, press S to scale it down and you see the mirror modifier is still active. Then I go to sculpt mode again, remesh the object using the voxel remesher. The button for this is added to the JSculpt panel. Now use the grab brush to adjust the shape. And once I'm happy with it, I go to object mode, select these objects here and then I join and remesh them. This is a pretty comfortable workflow that I use a lot and that we end up with one voxel remeshed object. Another feature that I had to fix and refactor is extracting objects from masks. First I paint a mask onto the mesh in sculpt mode and then I press extract mask. The great thing here is that there is an option to voxel remesh the new object right after the extraction. This means we can just go ahead and sculpt this object in sculpt mode. Alright, last but not least is starting retopology with one click. I like to do this with the option of random colors because then the retopo mesh can be seen easily above the sculpting object. I set the target to this creature or whatever this is and then I press add retopo mesh. Now a plane is added here in edit mode and you see that the vertices are snapped to the target. Now we can press G to move them around and what I changed for the shrink wrap modifier, you see this here in the modifiers panel, is to set the snap mode to above surface and the offset to a small positive value. As you might know, for retopology, I like to use the polybill tool. Okay guys, these are the bug fixes and the changes. If you have any ideas or wishes, let me know or just add issues to the GitHub. Don't forget to subscribe to JNM if you haven't already. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Support me by becoming my patron or join here as a channel member and I'll see you soon in the next one.